Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. This is more of an announcement than anything, I suppose. I've been looking at a new feature on YouTube called um, YouTube Premiere. And um, it's, it's like a combination of just, just uploading a normal video, but it's sort of semi-live. And, and the idea is um, you would need to have um, clicked that notification bell to join into it in full but basically it's just a normal video except for it has a premiere which means that we would be watching it together so when it first becomes available to view like a normal video I'll be watching it as well and there's the equivalent of the sort of chat column going alongside like a li live broadcast in other words I see the comments as they appear and can respond to them. So it's sort of like a live broadcast. I would need to be there. And it's sort of like we all watch it together, those that want to join in. Um, it's a relatively new feature. And I don't think anybody else has had a go at it yet. <laughs> so I may be the guinea pig. And um, like with all YouTube new stuff, it might even have problems. Um, but I think it's worth having a go. You know, it's a new feature that um, it, it doesn't involve much extra work for me, apart from the fact under normal circumstances, I load a video sometime during the day and um, <clears throat> I ignore it until the next day. Um, and the next day I get up and I have a look at the comments and I deal with them. Um, and I tend to do that first thing in the morning while I'm having my first couple of coffees. Sort of helps me wake up in the mornings. So that's my normal procedure. Um, this one would break out of that routine, obviously, because I'd have to schedule the video to load at a time that's suitable for people to be watching. And I always have to bear in mind there's a whole world out there, not, not just the UK. I'm sure some people think that, you know, they only live in the world where they live and forget the rest of the world. But, um, you know, I have to be inclusive. Um, I'm still fully aware that nine-tenths of my viewers are in the States. And the States are in totally different time zones to me. You know, when I'm going to bed, they're getting up. You know, so we work in different time zones. Um, and... From past experience, um, other people's live broadcasts, like Rachel, and um, uh, I've done one. Um, if you're in the UK and you want to be inclusive for the States, then you've got to stay up late, basically. <laughs> um, I think I did mine about one o'clock in the morning or something silly like that. Well, I won't be doing that, that's for sure. Um, I've normally been in bed three hours by then. But, um, yeah, the idea sounds good. Um, and if you've... Um, click the notifications on my channel, you'll get a 30 minute warning reminder saying that the premiere is coming up soon. And then there's like a countdown and we all sit there waiting for the video to start, me included, and then we watch it together. Sort of like being in the cinema, but with the ability to chat, as opposed to somebody hissing at you if you speak when you're watching the film, um, you know. So it, it sounds like a reasonable idea. It's got to be worth a try, hasn't it? So um, I'll have a think about what sort of video would be suitable, get that organised. Um, all I've got to do is make the video as normal. Um, the only difference is when I load it, um, nobody gets to see it until the scheduled time. And obviously I would notify everybody what the scheduled start time is, just like a live broadcast. Yeah, everybody needs to know when it's going to start so that they can be ready and join in. Um, and the joining in bit is no different to a live broadcast. You know, the chat window's there, you, you type your comments in or your questions, and you get a, a response from the person whose video it is, because they're sitting there watching it with you. So... Sounds like quite a good idea to me. Um, I just hope it works and there aren't any bugs in the flipping software. Um, but I'm going to give it a go. I haven't decided what or when yet, but obviously I will let you know when that decision's made. Um, <clears throat> the problem with this weekend, if I schedule something for this weekend, in the UK, we've got the silly playing with the clocks thing this weekend, where our British summertime comes to an end, 
and we all move our clocks back an hour. <coughs> so basically, in people's minds, they think, ooh, goody, an extra hour's sleep. Um, well, if you've got a body clock like mine, it's going to make no flipping difference because I tend to wake up at roughly the same time. <laughs> Whatever the clock says makes no difference. It's just my body clock gets me up. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll consider it, but um, I don't know what is the best day. I mean, traditionally live broadcasts are either on a Saturday or a Sunday because, you know, m most people that are still working are not normally working on those days. I know some people do, but you know, the majority, um, the weekend is their time off when they get to do as they please rather than, um, you know, having to go to work during the day. Um, but I'll have a good think about it and I'll let you know. So at the moment, this is an idea uh, that I'm hoping to put into practice because honestly, it, it, it sounds a bit of fun, you know. <clears throat> Um, you know, I mean, you've got, I've got my regular viewers that watch my videos um, as and when they can and hopefully are still watching the adverts on the front, <laughs> helping me out with my pennies. Oh, on that subject, we've got some new types of adverts now, very clever. You watch the advert, which often is quite short, and then at the end, there's a box to click on that is a link to another site, yeah? and there's a little timer clock goes round yeah to allow you to click on that link now I'm not saying anything about clicking on the link that's entirely up to you depending on what the advert was about um, but nonetheless the little timer clock at the end to allow you to do that is still part of the advert yeah so if you don't let that play the adverts not been watched in full and like with all the monetized YouTube channels if the ad isn't watched in full, nobody gets paid. <laughs> YouTube don't get paid, and if they don't get paid, nor do the creators. So that, that still applies. Um, so, uh, yeah, just a, a, a note on a different type of advert that seems to be coming up quite frequently now. Um, just so that you know. I mean, there's, nobody's under any obligations to watch these adverts, as far as I'm concerned. And um, in my view... A reasonable amount of time for somebody who wants to support a channel is 30 seconds. And if adverts start getting any longer than that, I skip out of them. You know, I'm not sitting there for five minutes watching a flipping advert. Um, I've got better things to do. But up to about 30 seconds, I think, is a reasonable amount of time to help support the channels you watch, you know. So uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, YouTube Premiere, it's a, a relatively new feature and it's like a semi-live broadcast. The video's prepared in advance as normal and, you know, created in the normal way. And it's, instead of being, I mean, I just post my videos, they go like, you know, they're available to view immediately. Um, but there is a schedule option, and with the Premiere, you use the schedule option so that there is a specific date and time when that video will become viewable. And at that time, you get warning shots that it's coming up, which is nice, providing you've clicked that notification bell, otherwise you won't get those uh, notifications, obviously. That applies to all notifications. And then we sit and watch the video together. <coughs> so the comments that you make are like a live broadcast. You know, if there's a question against something in the video, then I can answer it there and then. So you get that sort of immediate response for the duration of the video. As far as I know, once the um, video is finished, it, it remains on the channel looking like a normal video. In other words, you know, the premiere has finished and now it's available to view as normal as and when you choose. And I presume that comments can still be added after the premiere is finished. And those sort of comments will be exactly the same as normal comments on my channel. I'll get round to them first thing in the morning the following day. That's how I tend to work with my comments. And everybody who puts a comment gets some sort of reply on my channel. Even if it's just a heart to acknowledge that I've read your comment, you know, I don't leave them blank. I don't just, you know, it, it seems, <clears throat> I don't know, it just doesn't seem very nice for somebody to take the trouble <clears throat> to watch the video, put a comment up, that shows they've watched it, 
And for me not to respond just seems a bit rude. So you always get something back. If you put a comment, you'll always get some sort of reply, even if it's just an acknowledgement to say I've read your comment and, you know, sort of thanks, that sort of thing. So we might give this a go. And um, this is a separate video. My normal video for today, I'm actually, I've been asked to do another talk and I'm going to do my dendrobiums. And it's dawned on me that the talk's been rescheduled, rescheduled. I think it was supposed to be at the beginning of next year and it's been moved forward a bit um, into the year. <clears throat> well, if I'm going to go over my dendrobiums properly, one of the subjects I need to cover is getting your plants ready to go into the winter rest. And when are those plants ready? You know, looking for those terminal leaves and all stuff like that. Well, if I'm going to include that sort of thing in my talk, I need to film them now. It's no good waiting till flipping April, May time, is it? <laughs> so I'm going to have to film some of my dendrobiums today and put those clips to one side so that they can be included in the talk. And that will be my normal video for today about the orchids rather than chatting about YouTube stuff like I'm doing now. So uh, I will see you later today and um, have a think about what the, the idea of a premiere, the fact that, you know, there's a scheduled time for a video to load, <clears throat> like a live broadcast, and we watch it together. So there's an interaction with the comments that's immediate while the video is playing. I think that sounds like quite a good idea. And quite honestly, compared with a live broadcast, to me, it makes more sense. Because instead of sitting looking at my ugly mug, you get to look at some plants. Yeah? You know, I mean, I can't imagine why somebody would want to spend 30 or 40 minutes staring at my face. I'm sure you'd much prefer to look at some plants. So anyway, we'll give it a go, and I'll let you know as and when. And... Uh, See you later today with the uh, dendrobiums going into winter type of video. See you later. Bye for now.